Now, Doctor, looking at the large Magellanic Cloud, or Magellanic Cloud, however it's pronounced, which is a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, and actually seeing some detail, it still is another galaxy. And here we have an accretion disk around a giant star that you were able to measure from that distance. What, what is the sort of methodology in gathering data on something like this? Yeah, that's, a, that's an excellent question. And really it's something that has been possible only in the last couple of years because of the increased spatial resolution and sensitivity of our astronomical observatories really. And ALMA, the array of radio telescopes that we used to detect this disk is at the forefront of this. So ALMA stands for Atacama Large Millimeter Array, and it's literally an array of radio dishes in the Atacama Desert in, in Chile. These radio dishes can be combined, over 60 of them can be combined together. They all stare at the same source at the same time, and this really increases our power to look far into the distance in the universe. And the full array has been operational only for a couple of years. And it really, it's thanks, it's thanks to our technological advancement that this was possible. Now the star with, with the accretion disk, this is best characterized, I suppose, as a growing star. It's still in some ways in its formative years, right? That is absolutely correct. In fact, the star itself, we, we first detected it. I mean, it was known before, the star itself was known before, but the fact that it's a young star that is still growing was first clear to us in 2018 when we observed this particular region in, in the optical wavelength regime, which as opposed to ALMA, which studies in, in the radio wavelength regime, uses visible wavelength range. And we observed this region with the MUSE instrument on the Very Large Telescope, which is also located in Chile. And what we observed in 2018 was a powerful jet that was emerging from either side of, of, of the star. Let's call, let's call these the sort of the poles of the star, if you want. And this bipolar jet that is emerging from the star really is a signpost for ongoing accretion. And accretion is that physical mechanism via which stars gather material from the surrounding accretion disk, from this flattened structure of gas that is literally feeding the growth of the star. So we first detected the jet in 2018, and because we knew that there was a jet, it was clear that there was an accretion disk just because of the presence of the jet, but we could not see the accretion disk with the data we had in hand at the time, which is why we really needed this ALMA data to, to clarify the presence of the accretion disk. So we submitted an observing proposal for, for ALMA, and luckily we got time, and lo and behold, there it was, the beautiful accretion disk. 